Roy and Biz sum up my entire life right now. Excitement and confusion. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It is Priscilla and today is episode one. Meet Roy and Biv of the Crayola Challenge. If you haven't done so already, head over to Twitter at HeySweetPSims and check out the rules. I will link the rules down below. Um, so yeah, Crayola Challenge. Roy and Biv, they are two main characters. They live here in San Machino. Currently, um, I do imagine throughout the challenge they will move to another city, but we not gonna worry about that today, girl. We're just gonna do a quick tour of some of the new lots that I downloaded from the gallery here in San Machino. Um, they do live here in the Spice District in Culpeper Apartments in a nice, cozy, and boring apartment. Um, two bedrooms, but we'll talk about that. I'll give you a whole little tour. We'll talk about everything today, sweetie. This is one of my cute little babies, one of my creations. The speed bill is on the channel. This is available for download on the gallery. Hot Lips Karaoke Lounge and Bar. I got this bad boy from the gallery as well. San Machino Cafe. Um, Planet Honey Pop Bowling I got from the gallery. I can't wait. I rarely take my Sims bowling, so I like to see Biz and Roy. I, yeah, I would like to see them bowl. Mile High Sky Fitness Gym. This bad boy is like four or five floors tall and has like a ton of stuff from a ton of packs. So I'm pretty sure we will get a lot of use out of this gym. And then this massive lot right here is the Mashuno Meadows Fun Park downloaded from the gallery. I have no idea what is here. I'm pretty sure a little bit of everything because it is huge. Um, so we will check that out as well. Not today, but certainly throughout this challenge. Let's play. We will check that out. Um, this is another one of my babies, uh, the Mashuno Art Gallery. Speedbill on the channel, available for upload on the gallery. Um, we do have a couple players here or characters here that I downloaded or created as well. But without further ado, let's do this tour of the house or the apartment and then we'll talk about the challenge and meet our characters. Um, the only people that you will probably, probably be familiar with in this apartment building are the Rosoyas. Um, we created Regan Rowe, I believe, or maybe we downloaded her from the gallery, I'm not sure. And then the McGraws. I feel like I downloaded them from the gallery as well. Um, but yes, they do have really good relationships with all of their neighbors, except for the old lady over here in the Rosoya apartment building, or the apartment, so yeah. Let's hop on into our tour of the Crayola household. So, as far as the challenge goes, um, there's three main rules, or goals, three main goals. The first goal for the challenge is to complete the painter extraordinaire aspiration, so both of your sins will need to have that. Let's go ahead and get down here. Oh, there are our characters, and there is one of their neighbors. Um, so yeah. Three goals, one of which is to complete the Painter Extraordinaire aspiration. So both of your Sims, if you choose to play this, will need that aspiration, both of them. Goal two is to reach level 10 of our um, careers, which will be Painter's careers. Um, one will have to reach level 10 in the Master of the Real branch and the other level 10 of the Patron of the Arts branch. Before we get into level three, let's go ahead with this tour of their apartment. Um, nice and bland. The kitchen is very appetizing. Look at there. Look at there. Just nice and appetizing. Just scrumptious. Yes. <laughs> Looks like plenty of flavor will be left over in that oven. Um, here is their one and only bathroom. This is a two bedroom, one bathroom student apartment. Um, I do imagine that these two Sims just graduated from art school. Which helps me a lot with this challenge because you should graduate with some skills. So I went ahead and 
level them up in some skills such as charisma, video gaming, uh, painting, obviously. I think fitness as well. So yeah, this is Roy's bedroom. Not much. Um, I did not use cheats like a money cheat to furnish this apartment. That's why it's a bit bland. But whatever, it provides for some realism in the gameplay, right? Um, after I built this, they had about 400 simoleons left. Um, but because they just graduated and their skill in painting and other things, they leveled up pretty quickly. They're at level two for the for their careers now. So um, I think we will be starting off today's episode with about 1600 simoleons, maybe 1200. I'm not sure, but we'll see soon. This is Bibb's bedroom um we did the bathroom this is their living area this in itself was a bit of a challenge trying not to use any colors in this bedroom or in this apartment it was like hard in it of itself um selfies because they are best friends bffs forever that song oh it just came to mind um spongebob Oh my goodness, what is that song? It's gonna come to me. Oh, that is a beautiful shot. Look at that. That is just so adorbs. Look at that. That's beautiful. Um, cheap little charcoal drum grill thing that I'm sure uh, Roy has created himself. And then they don't have um, laundry, couldn't afford it. So we do have like the wash basin. basin and the clothesline here, a couple of chairs so they can sit and enjoy sunsets and sunrises. And then, you know, get a whiff of that nice San Marchino pollution, you know, because we need oxygen and whatnot. So, yes, that's the tour. Um, so, goal three, as you can see, will be to fill their homes and lives full of love life and color um, the way they will go about doing that is to eventually get married and have kids did we hit play or are they just sitting there can we hit play please there we go breathe breathe kids um, so yes eventually my two characters will fall in love Get married and have kids. Yes, we became friends with Deja Garva. Garvey, thanks for noticing, kid. Creep. Um, so yeah, eventually they will fall in love and have babies. Plenty of babies. Seven to be exact. Why seven? Because that is part of um, the challenge. Is to have seven kids. There's a lot. Why that specific number? I will tell you why. How can I do this? um there we go uh why seven because the acronym roy g biv has seven colors red orange yellow green blue indigo and violet right so for every child they have it will be that child will be related to a color so for instance um the first child which i really hope is a girl will be named scarlet her name has to be related to red her traits will be evil and um, hot-headed because, I mean, it's pretty red. And then her own bedroom, clothing, toys, all of that will be related to red. Um, Ashley and I kind of like went through and already came up with baby names because I just love coming up with baby names for some reason. Um, so I need you to paint, honey boo boo chow, because you got to go to work in all of 15 hours. Um... So, for instance, green, that child will have the traits of squeamish and jealous. Um, and let's do pop art. Names can include emerald for a little girl and forest for a little boy. Um, for blue, names can include sky for a little girl, navy for a little boy, or teal. That's a nice name. I like teal uh, for a little boy. We'll probably do teal for a little girl too and the traits would include um what was it gloomy and loner so we would have to do that for seven children we might even throw in a cat or a dog or a little fur ball in there too 
Oh, that brings me to my next thing. As far as like cheats go, I think we already discussed that. If you want to use cheats, by all means, do you boo? Who am I? Um, who gonna check you? All right, so play with your cheats um, if you want. But for me, I won't be using too many cheats because realism, I like my sims to struggle when I play. Um, but I did download the MC Command Center if you haven't noticed yet, only because that will allow for uh, more than eight sims in a household. Sims limits are, I'm bored, want to hang out for a bit. We can socialize or do whatever your heart desires. No, I'm good, bro. Uh, we have guests. Um, so, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, Sims limits the number of Sims we can have in our household to eight. Um, Orgy Biv, that's seven children. Um, and then two adults. So, I need room for, like, at least nine. That's without a cat, a dog, or any other pet. So, that's why I have the command center. Um, to allow for more sims in my household. I heard you became friends with Don. He's pretty cool. Okay, thank you, Miss Landlord Lady, for being all up in my business. Um, so yeah. Let's, let's see what else. I think we kind of covered everything as far as, like, the rules and whatnot. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's like a cross between Hello, the not so berry challenge without the legacy and, like, a little build series. Um too so I'm excited to play it. Let's see which who's calling me. Heard you became friends, but is he Yuma Gra? He's pretty cool. Thank you, lady. She really needs like something to do with her life because she just like randomly pops up. Like literally in the house randomly pops up. It's weird. Super weird. Um I don't know if we talked about this either because I've done this voiceover like seven times already. But they are best friends, they grew up together, took baths together as toddlers, playing the sandbox together in elementary school, went to the same first, you know, middle school dance together, um, cheated on science tests together in high school, just gra graduated art school together, and now they're roommates and best friends forever. Um, so yeah, um, eventually they will fall in love. I do imagine that they kind of have like, an interest in one another like romantically but neither one of them have like brought it up to each other because they don't want to spoil their relationship their really good relationship but we finna spoil that because we can make them lovers and friends and it's gonna work out and they will have seven amazing eclectic children eccentric children and be like happily ever after <laughs> that is the goal for this couple um, I actually created this couple, by the way, with little help. I think I helped her with the face of Roy, like Roy's face, his chin maybe. Um, but yeah, she did this on her own, and she's pretty awesome with Cass. So look out for this Cass with Ash tomorrow at 1.30. Um, and then the speed bill for this apartment, Thursday at 1.30. We are kicking off 99 Days of Simmel with the Bang Kids, so... Buckle up, because it's going to be a bumpy ride. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, buckle up, kids. Oh, that's, ooh, fancy. I like it. Um, so, yeah, if um, Sleepyhead over here ever wakes up, I swear, like, I have to babysit him. He, he, like, would not do anything on his own if I don't tell him to. What else we gotta do for you? He needs to use the bathroom, take a shower, eat and paint. Which, you know, in real life, we could do that and what? Take a shower, use the bathroom, eat and paint. What, like, two hours or so? Maybe? I don't know. Tofu. Can't eat anything. Vegetarian safe. Um, but Sim Life, this is going to take you all of the remaining 12 hours <laughs> that you have before work. So, yeah. I guess we could have just eaten some tofu dogs. I don't even think she cooked enough for, um, <laughs> for her roommate. 
Oh, this apartment. Traits for this apartment. I didn't give this tra uh, apartment any traits. It does have like the new TLC trait that came with the apartment. So expect to see plenty of roaches, the occasional rat. <laughs> Um, Roy's not fond of these rats and little critters. Neither am I. They make me nauseous in real life. I don't know why. It's just disgusting. So. Is Roy up yet? Oh, Roy. He might be able to go out and check out some things. Gosh, he, got to, he has to start painting too. He's just messing it up. I'm not sh like I don't maybe he's a maybe he's narcoleptic or something. I, don't know. I just wish he would get up and be responsible for himself. <laughs> Why won't you be responsible? They have plenty of pa paintings too, like already in their inventory, and so I thought about going ahead and um, what if they could wet the bed? That would be so gross. Um, I thought about going ahead and like putting their paintings up, but I think we need to wait until we start having kids um, to do that because I mean the house is supposed to be bland and boring. Ew, so nasty. Vlad, go home, Vlad. Hello there. I just wanted to welcome you to the community, and mind that's a lovely neck. Don't try that mess over here. Don't, don't even try to mess over here because no, just don't. I built a uh, um. What was it? What house was it? It was in this spice district too. It was the new salt house. It was like a yeah, it's the old salt house, but I rebuilt it and then it was the new salt house. And as I was sim testing it, this thirsty guy, Vlad, just like walked up in there, mesmerized my little sim tester. And 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 drained her dry like no bruh that stuff over there he gonna run up in the wrong apartment one of these days have you guys ever seen vampire in Brooklyn with um Eddie Murphy who else um Eddie Murphy the guy from um oh come on Eddie Murphy the guy from Different World Dwayne and um. Dad from uh, who is there from? Oh God, I cannot think of these characters from um. It's all man. See, I told you it was gonna take him forever. The guy from Friday. I feel like his name is John Witherspoon, but I also feel like I'm making that up. Anyways, I thought about doing a vampire from Brooklyn, vampire in Brooklyn, like let's play. You have a couple of black vampires <laughs> living in San Machino, you know, just sucking the life out of everybody and trying to become wealthy in, in the meantime. Like, that seems like a really fun um, play off of that movie. But, anyways, see, I wanted them to go out and actually do stuff, but this, this guy right here is just like, did you finish painting? No, you didn't. He's gonna, he's gonna drain me. He, he legit is gonna drain me. Like, what is this foolishness right here? What is this? Mr. Potato Head? What is this? I couldn't be a critique, like a, what's it called? A critique? No. Critiquer? Is that a word? No. Were you criticized, like, you critique word? What is that called? I couldn't be it, because I feel like I'm too harsh on stuff. Especially myself, like... I don't know if it's because I'm a Virgo or what, but I'm like super hard on myself. I don't know if you guys have noticed that on like listening to my voiceovers for my speed builds. I'm really rough on myself. Grenade. And so uh, Mr. Roy here needs to get his life together with this painting. But I feel like Bib literally just painted this, but whatever. Huh? It's fine. Do you, boo? You need to hurry up because you got to go work in three hours. And you should probably clean your mess up. Pig. 
Um, let's see, when do they work? It is Wednesday, and they work Thursday and Friday. So maybe in the next episode we'll check out some things here in the city. Um, because unfortunately even these folks have to work. They only have thirteen hundred simoleons and you know, eventually somebody has to go on a date and somebody has to woo the other one and somebody has to propose and so we need these coins. I really do like that painting. I think I might hang that up on the wall. Is he painting the same one? No, he's not. I thought he was. I mean, it's bland enough. It's got some color to it, but it's pretty bland. Can we put a, um... Frame it? Yes, that's fancy. And emotional aura. Um, confidence. Okay, okay. It, oh, it would be so nice if they could gift paintings. Can they do that? Let me know because I have no idea. I, I, I have no idea what we can do in these games anymore. Sell, sell, admire, put an inventory name, frame. And let's put this in Biv's room because that's a bit feminine. And not that there's anything wrong with that, but let's give this to um, Biv. Because he, this is not his taste for his room, his lifestyle. So we will do that. And then these two have to go to work. See? What's disgusting? Why are you, why are you disgusted? Do you stink? Is, I, what's disgusting? Oh, you need to do laundry. Yeah. What's that stuff floating? That's disgusting. Like it's growing mold in there, lady. Yeah, that's horrible. Um, can we go to work now? Why are you tired, homie? Why are you tired? You literally just woke up. What is wrong with him? Take you a twenty-minute nap. It didn't go to work. So yes, this is our. These are our characters, Roy and Biv. They are about to go to work. Um, I think ah, we 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 got some time. Let's play them a little bit more. Let's have them both work hard. And when they come back, I, I'm not even sure. I didn't sim test this apartment, so I'm not sure if they can use the washer like the wash basin and the clothesline outside because I've never tried it in the city so we'll see um we would definitely let this old man right here because he's got to be like geriatric with all the naps he needs um we will let him sleep and she will wash her clothes is she tired too? I'm pretty sure she is no she's hungry do laundry, wash and wash tub. It would be kind of cool if they had, um, why is that floating there? I thought it was supposed to wash. There we go. Ooh, critters. Let's see if it works. Yay, it works. And her wash their clothes. He needs to wash his funky underwear too. I know, sweetie. Yeah, I'm not built for this. I need a washing machine. I don't even know where we would put the washing machine at. Like, um, I guess we could put it right there by the um, the sink. No space for it there. No, oh, honey boo boo child. We could put it out here on the um, on the balcony too and just like enclose it off like a little closet with the washing machine and dryer. I don't know if you can do that though. But I mean, that's an option. You know what? This would probably make a decent screenshot. Let's see. Let us see, kiddos. There we go. That's nice.
Oh, what is he doing? <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Like, that is true male form to sleep with your hands in your pants. Wait a minute. Because I'm not tripping. I know I saw that. I know you guys saw that too. Oh, man. So, yeah. Those are our characters. I hope you guys enjoyed episode one. Let me know who's your favorite. I got the scoop on some crazy party happening at the Bluffs right now. Yes, we do want to check that out. Except and select friends to travel with. Let's travel with the homeboy. Uh, oh no, this is um Roy. So let's take this. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the characters so far. I hope you guys like the idea of the challenge. Again, it is on Twitter, the rules for the challenge. Let me know if you actually play. You can do hashtag 99 days of simmer or at me at hey sweet peace sims. Um, as always, leave lots of love and comments below and we will end it here. Uh, we will pick this back up every Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and yeah. So, thanks for spending time with us and I hope you enjoyed it and subscribe like and comment below and we will see you next Tuesday guys bye